Hello everyone, welcome to these Battlegrounds. I'm Bobby B, and today we'll be looking at the G.I. Joe Classified series, Retro Scarlet. Now the retros are part of the Classified series, however they are not numbered. If you go into Hasbro's website, they are listed with the Classified title. They don't carry the Classified title on their packaging, but they're essentially Classified scale figures. So, now, as far as figures that needed an update, I'd definitely say Scarlet was one of them, both compared to the version 1 that we saw with Classified in the first wave, and then... Um, her just OG look, but we'll talk about that as we get into it. Diving into this retro card back, we get a nice shot of Scarlet. Classic looking, all the jazz, all classified up. Joe on the top. Back, we get our cross cell, and I think they could have benefited a lot if they would have added the uh, Snow Serpent, Eel, and Beachhead in like black silhouettes. Just try to recreate that, you know, original card art, uh, card back. Um, or even the 25th one where it shows like, you know, the coming soon stuff. Going into the uh, file card that's obnoxiously large. Uh, different languages. I'll read it out loud for you guys. Uh, Shanna M. O'Hara. Roll counterintelligence. Primary specialty intelligence. Secondary classified. Uh, birthplace Atlanta, Georgia. A martial arts expert who started practice at an age at age nine, Scarlet graduated summa cum laude from two Ivy League universities and went on to excel in training courses at all four branches of the armed forces. So she's uh, well-rounded, pretty smart. Getting into her uh, her accessories, we get our classified base stand, figure stand, whatever you want to call it for the GI Joe team. It is in like a uh, mat like we saw with Duke and Ricondo. And uh, it doesn't have that gloss like we saw with the, I believe this is the Diver. So, um, you can see how the uh, the ring light doesn't carry over. So, um, I kind of like the mat more. I think it looks a lot cleaner. It looks a lot better. But, I know Lenny kind of teased in that one interview. I think it was Audible Interlude. Audible Interlude. If I'm messing that up, I apologize. Um, which one of the interviews Lenny recently did... Uh, someone asked about figure stands in like a Q&A portion and he kind of not saying that we're going to see see them in like their own pack but that we'll be seeing more of them I guess so we got that to look forward to one of my favorite things we get the uh, Sunbow Joe cartoon rifle uh, it's in like a gray green a little on the warp side so I'll have to try to heat that up then I know there's someone who doesn't even collect classifieds be like, oh, the G.I. Joe guys come with warped weapons. Oh, and the, like, you don't buy them. Shut the fuck up. But, uh, in this flat gray, green color, stocks in like a brown. I think all the Joe should come with this. All the Cobras should come with, you know, their cartoon version weapon. So I think that'd be fun. Just throw it in with every single figure. Um, just an extra accessory, fun accessory. We get that same M16 we've seen a couple times already with Grunt and Mutt. It's in that greenish color. Um, barrel's a little warped. It doesn't feel as uh, sturdy as uh, Duke's stuff, so. A little bit of extra color would have gone a long way. Magazine does drop out. Goes back in. Um, just give me, you know, give me black weapons. That's all I want is black weapons. We get our backpack. We saw the Valkyries. Nice little Molly design to it. Nice compact look. Then obviously you can store the weapons on the uh, side pegs however you would like if I can get this one through it goes through the trigger guard I don't recommend doing that in real life uh, you'll get uh, you'll get the shit smoked out of you putting that back here we got a knife it's in that weird gray green color for the blade it's got that light gray green color for the uh Handle. Get a nice handgun here. The slide is that dark color, and the bottom is that weird gray green color. Porthole for blast effects. And we got Scarlet's traditional crossbow, whatever you want to call it. However, there's like a little air tank on the side. Is that how it's powered? Um, it does split for some reason. I don't I don't know what the purpose of that would be, but it does. And then it's got a groove for the different uh, bolts. No string. I'm sure if you're crafty enough, you can run something through there. But, uh, very OG, classic inspired, whatever you want to call it. Then we get four 
bolts, arrows, trick arrows. Um, they got, there's four different little heads to them. I'm trying to make them all flat for you. Just like a little grappling hook one. Uh, three different size points. And then there's the tails. They're all the same for the tails. And those just kind of come back to those. But those I would imagine just kind of pinch in somewhere, somehow. Just line up in that rail and you're good to go. So definitely a lot of, uh, a lot of playability. We get two fists left and right. A little bit of Kevlar knuckles on them, ready to go. And then we get two hair pieces, two ponytails. We get one wavy and one straight. Going into the Scarlet herself, um, as happy as I am to get, you know, an updated Scarlet, I think that the Leotard design is super dated, and I'm surprised Hasbro went with it since it's, you know, I'm trying to think, not really sexist, but like, I don't know. You, you guys get what I'm saying, you know. Oh, of course, the female's in the Leotard, goofy combat Leotard, but I mean, I get it. It's a classic look. Trust me, I get it. And everyone wants that OG design and stuff. Oh, damn, her elbow's really stiff, but. I think it's just a goofy, goofy outfit. Doesn't make sense to me, but definitely, uh, definitely an upgrade compared to um, the modern classified version. So we get her, her classic look. She's even got the pistol, the little prostitute gun, on her uh, wrist. Face sculpt I think looks pretty good. She's got some earrings, and she's got the bob haircut. So you could leave her without the uh, ponytail if you want, because it's. It's down here, so unless you're you're taking the pictures or doing photography or displaying her from behind for whatever reason, you don't really notice it. So if you wanted to keep that OG, you know, bob look, you can. Otherwise, you can peg in the straight ponytail. It goes in like so, and you can rotate it however you want to keep it straight. Or you can peg in the wavy one, if I can get that to go. Oh, there you go. I wasn't in all the way. Or you could do the wavy one to add some uh, some action scenes to your displays. So definitely a uh, a fun piece, fun aesthetic. The bolts all go into this little uh, quiver on her hip. I'm putting those in right. Oh, yeah, it's definitely definitely tail down. Come on. And then the fourth one. Maybe not. I don't know. You'll have to mess with it. I'm trying to line them up and get them where they need to go. That one's the wrong way, that's why. And then obviously it's <laughs> not, it narrows as it goes down, so that's probably probably playing a role into it. So there's that, and that's attached to the belt piece, uh, but it's not attached to that thigh strap, so that's pretty nice. Got a little bit of red pouch right there. The belt piece is loose. Got some spare rounds. Got a little bit of a. Some kind of insignia there. I'm not exactly sure. She's got the grenade like the OG. She's got the throwing stars. We already know we're getting this with Glenda. Um, so it's kind of, I don't know, a mainline character being reused into the HasLab. I don't know how I feel about it. Pouches on the boots. And then the boots are all one color. So there you have your Scarlet. Comparing her with her 25th anniversary. She's on the money. Oh, we got the knife sheath over here, I forgot to mention. So, everything but the pistol she can uh, essentially run with. Um, kind of weird, there is no, there is no pistol holster. Got this quiver that I got to figure out how to do, but that does it for uh, 
Retro Scarlet. Did you guys pick her up, skip out on her? Were you guys a fan of the updated design? Do you want something like the Renegades design? Um, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, load up, grab your kits. Let's see, well, how could I do this without showing off Retro Snake Eyes and her? So, I can't wait to see all the uh, dios, picks, and displays with these two together. Kicking some Cobra butt. But, definitely, uh, definitely a good addition to the shelf. Um, I just hope we get a uh, updated design of Scarlet in the future. But, until next time, load up, grab your kits. See you on the Battlegrounds.